Hello and welcome back to the second part of the RTX DI uh, video in Unreal Engine 5.1. I'd like to start this one by talking about how to set up your scene. Just a reminder, there are a couple of small changes between 5.0 and 5.1. Um, and here we're looking at, you know, 5.1 NVRTX. So I just want to go over those uh, uh, project settings real quick. Let's look at all settings and um, I'll do a search for ray tracing. I usually just start by, you know, I'll, I'll, like I said before in the previous video, sometimes it's, it's ray tracing, sometimes it's ray traced. So I just put in ray track to get all of the relevant um, uh, ray tracing values. Uh, and uh, to set up RTX DI, what you want to do is make sure that you have it uh, uh, flagged on in the branch right here. Um, I usually just, this is just my own personal preference. I turn on everything else. Uh, you need to make sure you use hardware ray tracing when available is on. I recommend uh, detail tracing. Um, uh, and uh, uh, path tracing is good to have on too. Uh, just so you, uh, we'll go, step through that a little bit more. Um, just so you can compare uh, ooh, yeah, how RTX DI is doing compared to ground truth, uh, which is what path tracing is. Um, because uh, remember, RTX DI produces uh, path trace quality direct shadows. So if, if you know, you want to make sure that you're getting uh, uh, the most quality out of it, you can always compare it to the path tracer and uh, see how that's going. Um, uh, so so uh, those are sort of some of the key values to make sure you have turned on. Um, of course, you also want to be in, in your, under platforms, windows. You want to make sure that... Uh, uh, shader model 6 is on and that your default RHI is DX12. Um, uh, uh, past that, uh, there are uh, Lumen settings. Um, uh, yeah, these are under engine rendering. I'm searching for Lumen. I think that's a little bit of a cheat uh, because it may not be set to Lumen by default necessarily, but um, uh, I, I think it's a good idea when you're using, if you're using RTX DI, um, and you want to make use of reflections in global illumination, um, I would recommend you use Lumen, and we're going to get into that, um, uh, uh, why that's recommended. Um, uh, but you can uh, set your defaults right here. And I basically have uh, uh, in 5.1 my Lumen value set to sort of maximum quality. So using hardware ray tracing when available, uh, hit lighting for reflections. Surface cache is the lower quality option. Uh, hit lighting for reflections. I think this surface cache will make use primarily of the uh, distance field for reflections, whereas hit lighting for reflections will incorporate the actual uh, like surface geometry uh, to improve reflections. And uh, there's a new feature in 5.1, high quality translucent reflections. Make sure that's on. Um, and like I said, detail tracing is preferred. Global tracing is, is simpler, um, but detail tracing will just give you, you know, the maximum quality. Check out the full version through NVIDIA On Demand. 